chip in to see if it's on, it's going alright. Just a new battery, so it should be alright. Uh, what happened to the job centre the day, 24th of six, 90? Uh, I walked up to the job centre, and one of the security guards, a big fat one, was just walking back in. Uh, maybe when he saw me, he decided to go back in. Anyway, uh, I got pretty much followed him in, and <coughs> the security guard, I said, I said I admired him, the one I saw last time I was in. I don't really admire him, well, perhaps I like him a bit, but he's still the enemy. They're all the enemy, they're all fuckers. They're working for that side. Anyway, he was there and he asked me straight away, he said, are you recording? And I said, no, of course. And I was told, section one, I walked over there and sat down. Uh, within a minute or so, uh, the big fat one come over to me, who I don't like, cause he's got attitude. I've seen him in action, and when he's off guard and he don't look very good, he looks not contained. He come over and asked me to put my pen uh, in my pocket. So I wear my pen outside sometimes, uh, so I did. Doing a bit. He walked away feeling happy about himself. Ooh, so it's my fault, I've earned my money. Uh, anyway, after about literally a minute that uh, I was called over, and it was meant to be Sue, who I, I've seen several times before, but she wasn't there. She had a day or two, she wasn't, I suppose she's sick. Uh, and they seem to do a lot of that there. My old advisor, Sergeant Markson, only goes in three days now. But that's a deal she's got, she's gone part time. Sue, I don't know what's the reason why Sue wasn't there, but she wasn't there. Anyway, uh, I say after a minute I was called over, and this oldest guy was there, run through his details, run through the job search, signed on, and I was pretty much out within at least two minutes of him seeing me. Probably less actually. So that was it. I went out, being happy that I'm away from the scum place for another two weeks.